Good morning, Plum here, playing World of Tanks. You're staring at my IS-3, primarily because one of you lovely people, uh, Sebastian, in my IS-6 video, asked if he could see a IS-3 gameplay video. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Now suddenly, overnight, after uh, popping on a little request on Jingle's Facebook page and on his um, YouTube chat underneath his last Mingles with Jingles, um, I pointed out to him that I started doing this because of what he said in one of his videos. Um, I've gained a whole bunch of new subscribers, so so welcome everybody to uh, the world of Plum, my tanking game. This is the only game I generally play or have time for, so um, I devote as much spare time that I get in my days to uh, shooting things, um, and this is my game of choice for doing it been playing an awful long time now. Uh, shortly after its general release I picked it up and started playing it, so uh, well over three years, and uh, I love it, as you can probably tell by the number of videos I've pumped out in the last two months. Um, I generally try and have a little game every day. Don't often get much longer than maybe half an hour, 45 minutes a day to have a go, but um, I try and do my best, and uh, since I started doing videos, I've actually uh, kind of reinvigorated my interest in the game even more by uh, talking about it while I'm playing, doing the live commentary. At the moment, the reason I'm doing the live commentary is because it's just quick and easy to do. I will probably get down the line of doing more uh, stylish videos with editing um, once this picks up a bit and there's more interest. At the moment, while it's still just you know kicking off, then um, I'm going to just try and do live because I can just record it, post it, and it's done. So um, let's get a crew in this IS-3. See, no sooner has that uh, buff come from uh, Jingles that I suddenly got um, people popping up on my chat bar at the bottom. Um, but I'll do this IS-3 first and see if we can get a good game. So we need a crew, don't we? He's probably in the IS-6. Yep, and they all are. Send those boys to barracks. Get into my IS-3. Return crew to vehicle had this tank a long time. You know, once I accidentally sold my IS-3 before they put in that safety feature for selling tanks. Way back when, I uh, I was just looking at the sale price and I accidentally clicked the button to sell it and it was gone. Instantly gone. I didn't have the credits to rebuy it, so I didn't have it for a, maybe a year. And I think I picked it up again on sale when I had more credits than I needed and um, glad to have it back very very strong Russian tank. We all know about the IS-3. It's uh, got a good front on it, been buffed recently a couple of patches ago with an even lower, narrower, lower plate and uh, they stuck on this snazzy machine gun which looks rather cool. So uh, this matchup, 43 percenter. No artillery to worry about so I'm gonna push up the center line and see, see what we can see, unless, now we've got good cover going towards the east, towards the flag, that's good. Minimap, minimap, minimap. To say that's important is an understatement, your minimap is everything. Let's try and get a shot in on this medium. No, bonky shot. At least I haven't got to worry about artillery. Everyone's looking that way, so I should get a shot in the side of this guy's turret maybe, or get a tasty shot into the T-32. I take one, trading blows, that's no good. You can't sit there all day just exchanging fire. You want to be the one dealing it. There's the AMX-50, we'll have a... Oh, I tracked. Back up, back up. This is a pretty intense spot to be on this map in this uh, current state, so... Try moving shots. Don't box me in, T-54. Let's see. My front's pretty strong. I'll have another go at the... Uh, yeah, go on, back off. AMX 5100. Quite happy to sit here and reload and not give him a shot. 
Come out. Put on and out. Another nice. Oh, <laughs> that's good. So we're up to a thousand damage now. Watching the mini map, things are progressing nicely. We haven't lost a tank yet. So that T32 is my uh, biggest problem at the moment. Let's get zoomed in on him. Come on, show me another bit of track. At least I can do with a bit of tracking damage at this rate. I think he's getting a bit knocked off. So he's moving up. Tasty hit on the object. He did appear to be tunnel visioning on uh, my T34 back there. Now, obviously, I can't go around this rock. That would just be dumb. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I could, oh, if I could get a good hit on that IS-3, I mean, he's got a lot of strong armour at the front, so I don't think I'd get a high roll. We get a shot on him. Oh, I thought I could eat that. Did not work. IS-3 is gone. I think these guys are uh, concentrating their fire. This might be the wrong thing to do. Ah, nuts. Get your nose straight towards him. You might be able to bounce. Oh, thank goodness for the team. Good job, team. Come on, let's get... No, oh, too slow for the I-6. Everything's behind us now. Well, this has been a bit of a uh, whitewash for our team. Let's have a punt at... No, nope. it was worth a shot. Could have hit. Their AMX 1390s making the best of it. Their FCM is there. Can I get down this gap? I'm going to get stuck here. Oh, just too slow. Not the most uh, exciting game in the world, but a game nonetheless. In my IS3, good enough for a third class mastery badge. How do we do on the team? Now generally I like to come in the top five. If that, that's my goal generally. If I come in top five, I think I've had an okay game and we're just outside. Came sixth on XP. And damage done. Six. It's funny how often you find that when you come uh, the same position for uh, damage. And I know they link a lot of the uh, score you do to your damage. And all the other things are little buffs that uh, get added on. So uh, more often than not you're about the same place. But uh, I seem to always be in the same place. Damage and XP. So. Not a bad game there. Let's roll straight into another one, since that was not that exciting. Frankly, I feel lucky to have survived. So we get even more pleasant matchmaking. Top of the tree, and good old XVM is uh, giving us the edge. 59%. Still too close to call, I think. Uh, hopefully you're uh, you're all hearing me nice and clearly. I've uh, adjusted my settings on sound settings and mic settings so that maybe I'm a little bit louder. And the game is a little bit quieter. So which way to go? I'm going to push up the... I mean it's not a slow tank this IS-3. You can get around the map pretty quickly. Let's go yeah, straight up the west and get into a ding dong up in the north west corner. I've got a camo net on this, so uh, there is a benefit just to hanging back a bit, but I am top tier heavy. If everyone did their rolls correctly, you'd probably win every time. Hard to say. So don't mind being overtaken. <laughs> don't mind other people getting up there first and 
show me the lay of the land. So I'm going to push round right into that top corner. I know they're probably going to rush there as well, right onto that Alpha 1 part of the map where there's that bump and rise where they can go and park on top. Once they're shooting down into my armour it does uh, negate some of my sloping, which is not good. It's funny, I've been seeing a lot more of those Object 416s recently. Didn't see a lot of them in the last few months, but in this last couple of weeks they've been popping up all over the place. And were they on sale? So I've been spotted. Let's turn my turret that way. I want to get over here. I might take a hit here in my flanks. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, get round, get round, get round. Good, well, we denied them this hill position. Now they have got two artillery to worry about, and we should worry about them because I'm a big old target. Now this is not a bad spot here. This turret is so strong from the front. Saying that, they did hit my tracks. I think I need to pull back a bit here. Just give myself one target. Let's try and get a shot into the... can't believe that bounce. That didn't look like it was 10 degrees. Well, you're guaranteed to bounce at 10 degrees, but well, they're all pushing up now. Could be time for a hasty retreat. Straight at him. Might get a bounce. And is he waiting for me to turn? I uh, couldn't absorb that. Right, get around. This rain got there quicker than I thought he would. Cool, I'm taking a bit of a pounding here. I've got to back off this hill and get down and get some allies. Right, has he got the gun depression to aim down here? What did I do wrong? I guess I pushed up a bit too far on my own. Not knowing, obviously, what was going to come around that uh, part of the part of the map. That was uh, a bit unfortunate to meet so many enemy tanks. Still, did over a thousand damage. <laughs> Let the team know where they all are. This is quickly cruising towards a defeat looking at the minimap. But you know there's a reason why everyone's efficiency sorry, their win lose ratio is around fifty percent. Why is that you ask? Because it's random. When you roll the dice enough times, with only two sides on it, it's all gonna roughly equate out to fifty fifty. So uh doesn't matter how good you are. Of course there are a few exceptions, there are some great players out there who have got really high win-lose ratios up in the 60 something percents and they are exceptionally good. That is not me, I am uh, just above Joe Average which I'm quite pleased with. Although of late my uh, win-lose has been dropping a little bit. So it looks like our team is really going for the flag I mean, it's only a standard game, so if they can get three tanks in there, or get everyone in there, then they won't know who to shoot first. I'd say this is hanging on a uh, bit of a knife edge, this game. 22 seconds, 20 seconds. Oh, this is good if we're going to win. <laughs> Not so bad. do like the IS-3. It is a strong tank. I obviously uh, didn't play it to the best of its abilities in that match. Getting a little swamped. I was hoping I could camp that rock and just you know, fight the battle from there and keep them back, but uh, they definitely did the right thing. And Because I didn't have any support once I lost the object behind me. I was a sitting duck to come and get, so... Five seconds, four seconds. Oh, they got one of our longest standing tanks in the cap. I think they deserve to win.
Oh well, win one, lose one. There you go, 50-50, <laughs> like I said. <laughs> so there's my match in the IS3, two games there. One win, one loss. Both a bit, yeah, nothing particularly exciting, but um, I will do better next time, I do promise. Anyway, uh, enjoy the content, and I will uh, definitely play again soon. Stay safe, keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.